So here with Glenn Gregory, just want to ask you first, when did you get involved in the project and how did that come about? I think like uh, most of the other people really, Stefan contacted me um, uh, initially on Facebook, uh, a little message which I kind of thought to myself, I must get back to that, that looks interesting, but I didn't. And then he sent me another message saying, I just wondered if you saw my last message. And, and he mentioned the fact that we knew similar people, like he'd worked with Claudia Brooker and Billy McKenzie and people like that. So I thought, I said, oh God, I must check this out. And he'd left a little link this time. So I clicked on the link and it went to his um, previous album, to this one. Uh, and it was produced by Tony Visconti and it had like uh, Lou Reed on it. And, you know, and I was saying, oh, yes, I really must contact Stefan and talk chat to him so I did and uh, and we got on very well and I kind of understood what he was talking about when he was talking to, talking to me about you know the kind of the art of pop crooning really and you know the kind of baritone rich voices and Scott Walker and David Bowie and you know it was kind of ticking all the right boxes really so I said yeah definitely I'd, I'd be very interested to work with you and he sent me a track over and um loved the track and he said to me do you want to how do you want to work do you want to work and i just send you the music or do you want a kind of bit of melody idea or lyric i said well normally i just take the music and then i do everything else but sometimes it's nice to kind of mix it up a little bit so why don't you just give me an idea of the melody that you might like and 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 i'll just see you know maybe i'll take it or maybe i won't take it and then of course i got it and i decided i thought well that's quite interesting because he sent me this kind of weird half mumbled like kind of like, you know, like really indistinct, but I, but there was something about it that I quite liked and it, it kind of piqued my interest. So I decided to stick quite closely to somebody else's melody, which is diff never really done that before, uh, but really enjoyed what came out of it. So consequently, the, the other songs that we'd worked on, I asked for the same thing. And and I also said, and I don't really want it done any better than the first one either. I want you to just kind of mumble something because there's something it kind of suggests things to me as well, you know, words or phrases. So so I did that, yeah. And and, and luckily he really liked what I did, and I really liked what he did, and and uh, it's, it's grown from there. So was that track untouchable? No, it wasn't untouchable actually. Untouchable was the was the third track that we worked on together, and by that time. I think it was uh, we'd kind of really settled in to a to a working relationship and, and understood each other quite well by then actually, and um, and when I got the, the backing track for Untouchable, I was kind of blown away. I thought, oh, this is you know this is the best jet. I really love this. Stefan's really upped his game, and by that point as well, I'd heard some of the other guys songs and I'm, and I'm like oh I love that you know so you really felt that you needed to raise raise your bar and so I was I was kind of thinking and and, and um, just the the first line of um, of a Billy a line from a Billy McKenzie track um, associates track came to me which is um, you know uh, I'll have a shower then for my brother up within the hour I'll smash another cup and that just that line and I was thinking about Billy out because Stefan knew Billy and I knew Billy and Billy had committed suicide and I just there was something and there was something about that line that really got me and I started to and, and it became the first line of the song you know what happens when you know the cup is smashed the pieces lay like memories and so it, it kind of went on from there and, and and once I decided to write about Billy it got very emotional and it, the words kind of just just flowed and I was just gonna put down a kind of rough vocal and um, and then send it to Stefan to see what he thought but I just kept adding and just more you know more ideas kept coming in and harmonies and backing vocals and it was just, I loved it, you know, and it made me cry, to be honest, while I was singing it, and I was i was in tears singing it, and I sent it to Stefan, and he sent me a text back a couple of hours later with just, I think it just said, wow, I'm, in, I'm crying, and it, just, and it did, and it's, it's very touching, and it's a beautiful song, and I'm very, very happy to have written it with Stefan.